Well, welcome now, dear friends, to the Wednesday edition of Fresh Bread. Hey, that was a little bit of a long one yesterday, but I really feel uh, a need to not back off on the Right Now Media, so I'm not going to get back into that today. But you, I think you heard that uh, great teaching yesterday from Kyle Eidelman. And if you want to go back and hear it again, that was just a little bit of a, of a kind of a, a portion of one of his teachings. Uh, as again, what hit me yesterday as I was kind of going through the Right Now Media was here we have an opportunity to hear some of the best teaching and the best preaching, the best pastors in the United States of America. We don't have to drive to Louisville. We don't have to drive to Atlanta. We don't have to go to Dallas. We don't have to go to Los Angeles. We don't have to go to Chicago. We don't have to go to Minneapolis. We don't have to go to Denver. We don't have to go to Houston. We don't have to go to Miami. Uh, we don't have to go to New York City. These folks are right here in our living room. And it's almost like they're just talking to us one-on-one. -on -one. If you haven't watched it, they, these, are, these are really phenomenally made. And so, anyway, please get the word out. Well, you know, let's just talk a little bit about some stuff this week that, that I would like to share with you. This is, again, Wednesday. Tomorrow night, we're going to meet the Rescue Mission, 730. Keep that in your prayers. We pray that God will direct those services. I've had some guests with me a few times. I also was down there by myself last month in August, and I don't know if I'm going to have anybody with me this month or not. I honestly don't know. If we're not, and that's fine. I'll just go in there by myself. I, and when I say people with me, I'm talking about people eating in music or maybe helping with a word from the Lord. So anyway, uh, I look forward to it. It's a blessing. I always get to pray with people afterwards. Thank God there's, they, they're receptive to the prayers, and it's an honor and a privilege, truly, for me to be there. I, can't, I cannot emphasize that enough, how I go there with with this great excitement because I know I'm going to get a blessing and it's just more of a conversation I always try to encourage the folks sitting in the in the room it's in the dining hall there it's in the cafeteria it's in the lunch room it's in the dining room <laughs> and I don't like the one thing that we're sitting I'm usually talking behind three or four rows of tables and I I'm going to try to move those tomorrow I I, I pray that they don't uh tell me to put them back. Right I'll be glad to put them back before I leave. I'm not going to leave them that way. But I don't like to feel like there's a barrier between me and the people I'm talking to. I also like to speak in a microphone because I know there's a lot of people that can't hear very well. And even if I'm in a group of four or five people, there may be people that can't hear. So um, anyway, there's a reason that I, I use the mic. I, I would, if it was a small group, we were just sitting around the table. Of course, I wouldn't be using a mic, but because I'm addressing them in a room that's got a, probably uh, not the greatest acoustics in the sense of sound elements. And the sound can kind of get lost because it bounces off the walls and everything. So I, I, I try to really communicate so they can hear. It doesn't do any good for me to talk if they can't hear me or understand what I'm saying. Amen. But do come tomorrow if you can. You're welcome to come. We get started right around 7.30, 7.35. And if we have some musicians, it might be a little later than that. But the people are very grateful that we're there. I'm honored to be able to come. So let's just leave it at that for now. Tomorrow night, if you're free to come, 7.30. If not, keep us in your prayers. Just make a little note to pray for me tomorrow night and, and pray that God's work is going to be accomplished and that it's going to be things that He does that we can't even understand. So uh, we know God is working even when we don't see it and we don't feel it. He is at work, and He's been at work in our lives. And so many times we just don't see it, but it doesn't mean he's not there. He is definitely there. Then one day we wake up and say, oh, God was there. I saw what he did now. Look back. Well, let's don't have to look back. Let's see him now. Let's see what he's doing in the middle of what he is doing. Well, friends, thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of the day on Wednesday. We'll talk to you real soon. Until then, Reverend Phil Anderson here, pastor of Oakland and Kansas Avenue churches right here in the capital city of Topeka, Kansas. Have a great day. God bless you. We'll talk to you then.